Hey, I have another chat today. This is fun. I'm, I'm getting, I'm going to edit that out too. <laughs> okay, those of you who do tune in to watch my vlog sometimes know that one of my favorite ways to vlog or vlog is to interview people or to just have a conversation. And this is Elizabeth Hunter. She's editor, um, one of the associate editors of the Lutheran magazine and happens to be editor of the Little Lutheran and Little Christian magazines, which I highly recommend. Thank you. I'll put a link in my site so you can go get them. You should subscribe. But, Good job. Um, Liz also has been an involuntary joy reader, so mm -hmm. she has that, but here's now why I'm dragging her in front. I want to talk to her about being a mom, because one time when I was here for a meeting, I was shopping in the bookstore downstairs, and you still had it, and there was this adorable little boy who was in his stroller, and he was singing, <laughs> constantly singing, and there must was have been a, Jacob. <laughs> there was, there's an older lady with mm -hmm. him. And um, I could tell she wasn't the mom because she'd say, mm -hmm. you know, you were here, we're mom, we're here where mommy is, and we're here mommy mm -hmm. works. And he had the most adorable voice, and I figured out he was your son. Yeah. He was so adorable. So tell me about what it's like to be a mom and what exciting things are, is he doing. How many kids do you have? I have two sons. We have two sons. My husband and I have two sons. Um, we have Evan, who's five, and we have Jacob, who's now three. And still singing. Had a birthday, and he's still singing. Yeah, he I, loves to sing. I think he was just right around two yeah. when I saw him singing, and the mm -hmm. clearest voice. And I can't remember if it was like the alphabet mm -hmm. song or Twinkle Twinkle, but yeah. he was like on repeat mode. Well, he actually has perfect pitch, supposedly. My husband has perfect pitch, and Jacob inherited that. Too, I so. what I heard, it was very pretty yeah. perfect pitch, very perfect stuff. <laughs> I don't have perfect pitch. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> we'll just leave it there. Re <laughs> there is such a thing as relative pitch too. Uh -huh. How do you think you're different? because you are a mother. Let me rephrase it. How have you changed from the time that you became a mother from before you were a mother? Let me ask that one more time. <laughs> no, I think I get it. Okay. I get it, yeah. um, it's basically, it's uh, just realizing that the, the buck really does stop with me, with the kids, and I have, oh, ultimate responsibility for a lot of things that I never I never imagined beforehand. Um, I'd never had a child throw up directly into my mouth and not puke. <laughs> you know? I, I'd never yeah. woke up with a back-breaking flu and then had to care for everybody else in, in the, the house family before and thought, mm -hmm. wow, mm -hmm. this is what my mom went mm -hmm. through. Mm -hmm. you know? And you're like, where are the other yeah. people who are going to come take I care never, of this? Yeah, I never understood why my mom made us go to sleep at 7 p.m. even when it was sunny outside. And now I can't. <laughs> Because you're too tired. Evan, they need to go to bed. Evan, pretty soon she'll lighten up on it. <laughs> That's yeah. your first one. You'll lighten up pretty soon on that one, don't yeah. you think? Yeah. So no, but seriously, I think that I don't know. I think it just widens. It broadens your horizons. It widens you a little bit more, and you also. Mm -hmm. I think I always thought about children around the world, and I was always interested in other children. I had many godchildren, but becomes more real, it doesn't becomes it? It becomes more real, and mm -hmm. you see you see the, the ages and the stages of development. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, and I it's think... It's all good. Yeah, and I think the real part for me, I mean, even what we've had to face, it got, had taken Strauss to a doctor's appointment, mm -hmm. I've been struck with, well, we get to take him to the doctor. Right. So, I mean, even under the worst of circumstances, what you think, from a parenting standpoint... Yeah. You're connect in humanity with so many people who don't even have the privilege that you have, even in the worst of your circumstances. Exactly. The resources. Yeah, and the fact, like, even with you, when you have a kid throwing mm -hmm. up on you mm -hmm. and, and in unpleasant ways, your kid is healthy enough to throw up. And, right. you, and you're not worried mm -hmm. about that illness being the illness exactly. that will mm -hmm. make you have to say goodbye to your child. And things aren't perfect, and you realize, you know, you realize there are going to be problems every step of the way. Mm -hmm. and and that's okay. I mean, this problem will be okay. It'll get worked out, and then mm -hmm. there will be new problems. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's it's okay. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for taking the time to talk to me today and vlog. So thank you very much. Thank you.